In this video, we're going to be showing you how to go and change or create new profiles in Outlook 2016 or higher. But before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon for all of our newest videos. Let's get into this. So first off, uh, you can get a new profile by just simply going into Outlook itself. So if you want to do it in that method, you go to File, Account Settings, and then Manage Profiles. And what this will do is this will bring up the Mail Setup dialog box, uh, which will give you email accounts, data files, and show profiles. Typically, email accounts and data files, you're not normally going to be using those in any given time when using Outlook, even for maintenance reasons, like changing on an account as an example. You're normally not going to go in here because you can go through the other method, which is uh, account settings and account settings. But if you need to change out profiles, on the other hand, then you can come in here, you hit show profiles, and then boom, you can add or remove profiles at your whim. So that's the first, first method. The second method is pretty simple too. And let's say you can't open Outlook and you need to create a new profile because, well, Outlook's just broken and profile changes normally fix Outlook. I mean, it's just how it works. So we'll go into Start and then we'll type in Control. All right, and that'll bring up the Control Panel. So we'll just go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to click on Mail. Now, keep in mind, you only will see this in large or small icons view, by the way. If you're in category view, which kind of looks like this, you won't see the mail icon, which means you need to switch it to large icons. So we're going to click on mail, and then we're going to click on show profiles, and boom, we're in the spot just like we were just a moment ago. So let's take this a little bit further. So that's how you find it. Let's go ahead and actually add a profile and get a setup for allowing Outlook to redo the profile and redo the accounts. So we're going to hit add. And then we're just going to name it whatever we want really. So we'll just call this one Outlook 2 and hit OK. Now it's going to come up with uh, this dialog box here uh, which is going to entice you to type in your information. We actually don't want to do that. So what we're going to do instead is actually hit cancel because we don't want to type all that stuff. And then it's going to come up with this little box here that says if you want to create a profile with no email accounts, click OK. If you do not want to create a profile at all, click cancel. We're going to click OK. All right. So now that we got that set in there, we now see Outlook and Outlook 2. So we're going to go down here to select the profile. We're going to go to always use this profile down here at the bottom and click on the drop down menu. Go to Outlook 2 and simply hit apply. Now we can go ahead and hit OK and close the control panel. Outlook's now fully switched over. So when we load Outlook, it should say searching for accounts if you are successful. All right, and we're successful. Outlook's now showing up here with the uh, email address option. You can type in an address. Um, it also might suggest an address. So if you do see an address here and you're like, hey, I don't want that, you can just delete it. If it is an address you want, then by all means, uh, keep that in there. Um, so we'll just go ahead and finish up the uh, thing here with our test account. And our test account is actually uh, through the Hotmail system. So basically it's an exchange account. So if you're adding a 365 account, it'll be a lot like this if the account's been on the computer before. So we're just going to hit connect. And since it already knows our password and stuff, it's just going to go right to the mail delivery location notice. We're just going to hit OK on that. We'll be all finished up. And there we go. That's basically it. So we're just going to uncheck the uh, Setup Outlook mobile on your phone too and hit Done. All right, and your Outlook is now back up and running. If you do notice the little Outlook data file over here on the left, after you restart Outlook once, normally you can just right click on it and remove it. Uh, sometimes it'll be nice like it is being right now and you can just right click and click on Close Outlook Data File and it's gone. So not a big deal, it's just a holdover from the process, uh, but ultimately this is it. 
you're all set to rock and roll. So on that note, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon for all of our newest videos. In the meantime, stay safe on the net.